What's going on guys, it's Sakurai Customs here, and I'm back with another video. So yeah, uh, today I'm going to be showcasing some various custom minifigures, so I have six and a half figures. I'll explain the half when I get to that figure, but yeah, so we'll get started with the first figure. Um, it is my um, Ultron, that I have finally finished, so what I used as a base was a Minimates Iron Man Mark 85, then I completely sculpted and painted everything. So I sculpted onto the helmet for the head, these parts were sculpted, the arms were sculpted, the back had a little bit of sculpting, and then everything you can see I just, um, I painted and he's a um, little tall, so if I grab a minifigure really quickly. So as an example we'll use Iron Man, so you can see there is the scale between the two. So yeah, um, I guess that was a good closing for him, so yeah, that's it for Ultra. Um, next up, here is a my um, my sig fig. So I made a new sig fig of myself. So the hair was the um, it was the dog show the hair in um, black, and then the head I just painted, and I painted sideburns because I have somewhat long sideburns, and then uh, I painted the NASA shirt because um, I have a NASA shirt, and then I had an e-tape jacket, and then I just took um, the legs off an old sig fig I had of myself. So yeah. That's it for my sig fig. Um, next up, we have um, um, Elton John. This is um, Elton John based on what he wore in the Live Aid concert of 1985. So to start with, the uh, hat was the um, it was a Brick Arms um, a Shrocken hat, which I painted black and glued on some feathers. And then the hair was sculpted, and then the glasses um, were painted. And I did the same technique as I did with my um, my Tom Petty figure, which I did was, I started out by painting the the lenses copper, and then I took and mixed some copper and black together to get a darker shade for the top of the glasses, so it looks like there's two different shades. And it was painted onto an angry clone head. And then you could see the jacket was completely painted by me. Um, it was, the jacket was made out of e-tape, and I painted all the designs. This, um, I don't think this is accurate because I only got one shot of it. And it was not that good of a shot, so the legs were just plain simple black legs, and I painted the shirt. So yeah, that's it for Elton John from the Live Aid concert. So yeah. <clears throat> Sorry if my voice sounds a little weird, I just finished lunch. So yeah. The next figure here is Ronin from Avengers Endgame. So I did a new version of him. So the hood was just a normal Lego hood, which I cut up and painted. The head was entirely painted by me, and then... Um, the torsos and, and the back to make the coat were uh, made out of e-tape and then I sculpted and painted on some stuff like I sculpted the the um, buckle here and then the two parts for his gauntlets and then I sculpted these two parts on the jacket and then the sword was just a Lego katana which I painted and then you can see all the detail was painted on and the sword sheath was um, made from um, two Lego cut up quivers, um, quivers, and I um, glued them together. So yeah, but this figure also has a special thing about him. So if I pull him away and pull off the hood and the head and the um, quiver and the sword, um, you can sort of get where I'm going here. I have an alternate set for him. And I just gotta put this on really quickly. So now I can have him displayed when he has the hood off. So I just repainted my old Hawkeye um, head, which I just, you can see I just repainted. Then I gave him a compound bow, which I just painted the arrow, the like feathers on the arrow, and gold, and that's what I did for the quiver here. So yeah, that is pretty much it for Ronin from Avengers Endgame. And um, our last, um, next to last figure, here is the Mandalorian from the show. So the um, um, helmet was sculpted by me, and then I paint and I painted it, and then you could see this whole armor set I made was sculpted, and then this was from an old um, Captain Phasma figure I had, which I just cut up. But um, here's the half figure I told you about. So I sort of did the same thing like with Ronan, but I made him a new body. And so here is the Mandalorian in the Beskar armor. So tell me in the comments. Which version do you like better, the best car armor or the first episode armor? So yeah, that's it for um, the Mandalorian. So now, with one last figure, 
here is Baby Yoda. So I just took a baby figure and I sculpted onto it. Um, and then I engraved the lines using attack. And I pretty much, you can see, I just um, painted everything you can see and sculpted. So yeah, that's it for Baby Yoda. And that's the end of this video. So thank you guys for watching. And be sure to subscribe to Sonic Lada Customs. And, um, and don't forget to follow my Instagram, which is also Sonic Lada Customs. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody.